Hey YouTube, it's the uh, second week of this cup, so let's actually have some fun with, with the team. So the team concept itself works. Um, you can also just replace Magnemite with Magnazone if you want, or, or Togedumaru and stuff like that, right? So, but it's Glycopod, Magnemite, and Lucario. Uh, from Itzumi Luigi, who's also, who's already legend, said, after playing Fossil Cup for a week, I got really tired of seeing the same handful of Pokemon, so I decided to change things up. I have a level 49 and a half Magnemite built a while ago, so I created a team around it. It's obviously not a great team for climbing, although I did somehow go all positive with it, three sets of three and two each. I include 10 games in a bonus games. Uh, the team functions as a typical ABB where you safe swap Lucario to beta to counter user and then hope to get shield advantage. Lucario is running counter abuse since I didn't want to elite TM my only one under 1500 CP. Uh, I also had Thundershock on my Magnemite for the first game before switching it to Volt Switch. Um, while TMing, I looked up and found Magnet Bomb does slightly higher damage than Discharge in neutral situations. I feel both can use a slight buff in damage. So thanks for the submission. Um, yeah, it's typical ABB style team. And this is, <laughs> it's, 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 I'm picking this for like three reasons. One, um, it's a different, it's, it's Magnemite. It's a different Pokemon. It's a space Pokemon. Instead of just seeing the same 10 Pokemon. Two, It's Me Luigi has submitted lots even before I even asked this season. So I appreciate that. And three, I have covered, it's, it's tough covering you guys because the skill set I get is, ranges greatly um and i feel like i've had a couple of videos that you're going to see this week that are just a lot of or you will see this week i don't know when i'm posting this but there's gonna be a lot of videos of like 2000 2100 yellow batters what battlers where it's just like okay you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong you're doing this wrong so it'd be nice if i can just be like oh yes do this do this and you're already doing it that would be nice so uh already legend here so let's see in action and, and plus, it gives you guys some, like, idea. Oh, this is a tough lead already. It gives you some idea of, like, how to um, just, like, play with the matches. Because there's one thing for me to tell you guys. But, like, if you see actually someone playing it a, a similar way or or even better than I would, then it helps you out. So let's look at Lucario. Safe swap here, which it should, right? You're weak to flying here. Lucario is your safe swap. There is your Polyrath. Going straight, Thunder Punch. Again, right? There's no point of baiting here if your goal is to grab shield advantage. Um, did not wait out the switch clock. What is this? What a rookie move that is. Wait out the switch clock. Because now you're going to get trapped on the... Um, yeah, and he knows it, so he's trying to burn it out now. You're going to get trapped. So you got to wait out that switch clock, especially with Lucario going down that fast. Um... Or else you're just going to get Mantine. It's just going to take you out very quick. Um, and now Swiss Fox barely up. Here comes the Magnemite. So great there. And it is a Razor Leafer. So Discharge is neutral. Steel is resisted because of the water. So you have to go Discharge here. Getting them with the one off. Going to farm up a bit. Knowing that you need two anyways for this. Because they're likely to shield. Because... Um, or they could let this go. I was about to say, well, that, that's kind of weird because you're still getting the outpaced here. I thought they would just shield, but basically smartly getting up to two, knowing that you're going to need to go back to back in one of these scenarios, right? Whether it be the past one or here, you just need to go back to back. So just going to two. There you go. Two shield flex off a terrible lead. <coughs> okay. Again, a bad lead. Again, we'll save swap Lucario and again, we'll probably get punished. Quagsire, so going straight power punch, because that is the only move you have, plus they would get to the mud bomb very quick. Now the question is, do you shield and flip switch here? You'd have to double shield, and that's exactly what's going to happen, right? I think it's worth, I think it's worth it too. You can probably get a power punch, um, I guess not. Um, maybe you could have, but that's okay. We can just go straight counter all the way down. We have a thunder punch that the Mantine comes back in. If not, okay, we have the a boosted thunder punch baiting here i don't know if i love the bait yeah i don't know if i love the bait and for two reasons one is um they may just kind of sacrifice this pokemon anyways if they 
They may sacrifice this Pokemon because they can read your fight for Switch that you may have an answer to this in the back. So they may just like kind of sacrifice this and just try and go two shell whatever's in the back. The second thing is like, again, I know you have a good matchup with Magnemite coming in. I feel like with them having a two shield advantage, just try and grab one of them, right? Either do an insane amount of chip damage or grab one of them or grab a shield. I think that's what I would do personally. Because now they may shield and just farm down. So they decide to let it go. Yeah, they're just going to go one shield, whatever's in the back here. Um, that's going to be tough when you're already... Yeah. That's going to be tough to do when you're already boosted. And holy smokes, game over already. Showing the Magnemite. Getting the Volt Switch off just to rub it in their faces, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Glacopod, uh, this is interesting. Yeah, and see that you're, <laughs> again, I have not watched these battles, but it's funny the first time I see a lead where I'm like, this is interesting. Subscriber also is like, this is interesting. And why it's interesting is because, <clears throat> okay, you have like Lucario that can come in and beat you right away. Um, but if you have... Ferrothorn, you probably have an answer to Lucario and Polyrath in the back. On the other hand, if you come in with Lucario and get punished right away, and they can potentially... So let's just say they have something to beat Lucario in the back. Let's say they have Polyrath in the back. Um, Polyrath comes in beats Lucario, which is you played out the same way. Glycopod comes in. At best case scenario, this thing's coming back in. Worst case scenario, they have something in the back for Glycopod, and then your Magnemite's align on their Ferrothorn, which would be kind of rough for both of you, I guess. It would be kind of like a weird neutral matchup. So, like, you're both run resistant moves. So I think just kind of, like, recognizing that you may try and catch... They're also probably going to go for Thunder because Thunder's super effective. Power-up is just neutral. Um, one and throw. So going to Shield here... Right? It is just a one and throw power whip. Getting to a second X scissor, maybe trying to grab a shield back. Maybe we'll try and catch on Lucario. See how we're going to play this out. One and catch. Nope. So they didn't get it. That's okay. Escav comes out. Going for the power punch. Again, in the one shield, I'm probably just going straight Thunder Punch. Because it goes against your. Let's see. <clears throat> Let's see if you can take this out. If not, it goes against your strategy there by not throwing thunder punch your strategy is always safe swap lucario to draw out something that beats it and grab a shield so in all scenarios you should be throwing the move that's going to grab the shield or do an insane amount of damage and try and flip switch there's no real point to baiting in my opinion and that's that's the reason why right if you're running an abb cell team you want to draw something out you want to flip switch you want to chip in an insane amount or you want to grab a shield those are the three things so baiting does not seem like an option to do one of those three things in my opinion so comes back in hopefully it does not have aerial ace it does so that is super effective um right and now you still got a bit of the fair thorn left and that's if they come in fair thorn and not just come in something like this so it is a fighter at that so this is going to be tough to overcome You, if you get farmed down here too. So Discharge may one-shot. It is a power punch. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a power punch that does uh, like 30% apparently. Crazy. I'll look up Magnemite stats after this matchup. Holy Mantine. Okay. Mantine again. So we've seen this. They are slow on the get out. They are going to um, probably try and chip and then take it in the back end here. Um, and I'm surprised they didn't come SCAV right away. But that's another strategy. We're gonna so we're actually doing a lot of strategy here, which is good because like some of the basic ones, like with 2000 yellow players, it's kind of like don't stay in with a water type against an electric. Like it's just that kind of like basic stuff. But here it's more strategy. 
One, I'm surprised they didn't come in with that scab right away. They probably should have as a counter user. But the other strategy that I've mentioned multiple times is if you want to ensure switch, you essentially do what the they just the opponent just did. The Mantine has taken resisted counters. It's going to outpace you to the aerial ace. If it throws the aerial ace, you're half fighting. So it'll do neutral. That neutral chip damage with the wing attacks will probably put you at 50%. So, I mean, Escav is an amazing answer, so you probably should have been in right away. But if not, chipping like that basically guarantees that you will win switch when you do come in with your next Pokemon. Again, they should have come in Escav right away. But if they don't, um, grabbing a shield or taking you to 50%, both are great options when you then get into Escav. You can guarantee switch. And you can guarantee that man time back on that Glycopod. And that's exactly what they did there. They grabbed the shield. And now you just matched it back. Um, they're probably going to shield. And this is why I think you just got into Escav quicker. Because they, they probably don't need to give up two shields there if they come Escav quicker. But um, they keep switch. Now, um, if you take this out... You now have a shield advantage going for the straight farm down, assuming acid spray and drill run, which drill run is resisted. And they go the double acid spray. So your thing, yours is super glassy. Ferrothorn comes in. I saw you trying to get out and then you're like, oh no, I need to throw some, some damage on this because I do not have a great answer in the back. So that is the reason you saw him click and then was like, nope, I cannot take out Ferrothorn with the Magnemite. So trying to stand there. Worried about the bullet seed farm down because you are four times lowered with acid spray. Power up is resisted, but I'm guessing it still does 50%. Not surprising. Mantine comes in just to get absolutely obliterated here. Going to sh not shield. Live an aerial ace. Get off the discharge. I, again, knowing how much moves do to a Pokemon, I have no idea how much an aerial ace does to a thing. And then we are going Ferrothorn because. As they said in their, in their um, like right up there, Magnet Bomb does better damage per energy than Discharge, and both were resisted, so might as well go for the one that does high, higher damage per energy. Staying in here, um, I'm guessing for two reasons. Uh, one is you're probably reading Close Combat, and two, probably an answer for Lucario. So eventually get out. Both simultaneously swap. So let's see if you go. So just going straight power punch. I guess uh, I guess with counter it's quicker to ramp up here. But you're going to have to shield. But you can probably grab that shield back right here. Just going to the thunder punch and either going for it or baiting it. Yeah. Again, you can, you can dictate switch now, right? This will take it out or grab a shield. And it takes it out. If they shield, you get shield and just counter down, right? So you were in charge there. Not super great fast move timing there, but just wanted to get the move off. They shield, okay, and now they get that, so that's fine. Because now you get your Magnemite on this. Now, both try to catch, um, and with that, both trying to catch, having a little more energy left over, and now these claws are going to add up. They're going to throw because they really don't want to take any more claws. And if you have an air release, it's going to put them too low. Push your... And they go surf. Um, basically, I think they're just trying to put you in hex range so they can go double surf on your Magnemite. Or they just see the writing on the wall with a Shadow Claw and Electric and then they're just like, I'm going to lose anyways. That is also an option. But they're still throwing, so maybe they have an admit defeat and then just didn't see their win con there. I mean, I don't know if they had a win con, but that's not, that's not one of them. Okay, so you got to get out of here. Going to get into Lucario right away. Again, they're probably going to come in with something that's going to beat you. Please don't bait. Luigi, don't bait here. I don't care. I don't care for this exact reason. I don't care that they that you got a shield off a of bait because you don't flip that matchup anyways. Grab the shield with the super harder hitting move or try and flip switch. There's no point abating there. 
Now you can argue, oh, but I baited and I got power punch and now I can just claw down instead of having to maybe throw a move. Maybe. Looks like you have to shield anyways if you want to do that, which then you would probably shield uh, Shadow Claw anyways down. Uh, okay, maybe not. But still, like, just throw the Thunder Punch. I mean, do what you want, but <laughs> that would be my suggestion. Going to throw Exazer. I don't know if it was blind. Yeah, I think you just assumed the Lantern was going to come back in, which is... Uh, yeah, I mean, like, don't throw blind, but understand this kind of situation there. I would assume the lantern was going to come back in too, but it did not. Obviously, we're burning all our shields here because it's not like Mantine's going to do anything to us. So grab the shield from you there, but they're going to get the surf off and the surf. If it doesn't take you out, I imagine I'll put you like in a couple HP being taken out. Yeah. Exactly that. Enough for a spark to take you down, and then this game's over. Yeah, a lantern and a mantine on the same team is tough for Glycopod. Okay, you do not have liquidation, so you can't even stand there. Pull out the gel scent. Get that thunder punch off. A little bit of better fast move timing there. This will chip, but okay. Got the shield. So you have to let this go. It is just a surf, so you can probably get a thunder punch off here, which will be enough to put it in. I was gonna say claw range, but it would. They're probably you probably have to shield if you do that. At this point, I think you just maybe come in here and sacrifice this, and then just try and go two shield magnemite. So that looks like exactly what you're gonna do. Not even gonna throw. I'm gonna be surprised if you shield. Not even going to throw because it actually makes more sense to get a, yeah, to just bank that energy or just, I know you're trying to get a Volt Switch off because getting that extra Volt Switch ener energy is huge. Out comes the Registeel, um, which is kind of nice. They may try and throw Zap Cannon because you're likely to shield any move because you would obviously get one shot here. So they could throw Zap Cannon and try and lower your attack here, but you kept a Pokemon alive. Okay, they did not. You kept a Pokemon alive that you're going to be able to reset. As you can see, these Volt switches and discharges are not adding up huge. Again, we'll look at stat products in 6 minutes and 30 seconds because that's how much is left here. Now you got to commit the two shields. So clearly this thing does not hit too hard. But you will be able just to farm down here. And they just let you. And there you got probably something in the back that's going to get killed by that. Okay, Jellicent. So you don't need to make the first move because they're probably going to make a move out of here. And if not, if not, what do you do here? Write in the comments below what you think should be the right move. Not leaving is the right move for you because Shadow Claws are neutral, Air Lace is neutral. I mean, Shadow Claws are super effective, Air Lace is neutral. Lucario, Magnemite obviously has a good, good matchup, but you don't want to get in that because it can just get lit up and that's not it's not the it's not the safe swap in this abb style line not getting out puts you extremely vulnerable that if you see a polyrath or escap or something like that you are in trouble so you have to try and draw this out so chipping with the x scissor are we going to try to catch a move here are we just going to shield and try and grab a shield back before we get out because the hexes aren't doing a lot on you so that is an option an option is to shield, claw a bunch, throw another move, grab a shield, and then depending what comes in or not come in, then you make the move after this. So either you, let's see what they do. So they shield, so you might want to try and catch here on the. Okay, they do not throw right away, which means that you can get to another move. Um, and they double shield, and there we go. Now we are coming in, basically. Not the one you wanted to, but this just looks like it's a sacrificial lamb at this point. Um, Lucario comes in. The problem is your switch clock is now, yeah, you need to burn this as much as you can. And then we'll see what they come in with in the back here. Um, and it is a lantern. So luckily running X scissor that you should be able to get to two if they try and spark down which they will spark down. Now the question is, 
Okay, so you can instant swap there, which is huge because that just forces them. I don't, I don't know if they'll get to two surfs now. It'll be close. No, that instant see that not waiting to get farmed down and then having some energy. Thunder Punch will 100% take out Lucario because Lucario is so glassy. Goodbye, Lucario. Man, Jesus, how many freaking Mantines are there? Okay. We know what we're doing here. They are slow on the swap, which puts them at a huge disadvantage when you can just power up, pump and power up punch and take this in the two shields here. So advantage you. You can't wait that long, right? That's a, that's a, they did the absolute worst case scenario. You have two things you can do. You instant swap to Quagsire or you air, you get to the air lace and you throw that air lace and chip or grab a shield. You cannot let Lucario get a bunch of energy and then get into your Pokemon to try and beat it. Cause you're so far behind on energy on a Pokemon that's so counter reliant and most are running with power punch that this thing just ramped up easily shields and will easily take switch now. And now that you have a Magnemite lined up against your Mantine. So your opponent, just the worst of both worlds. You cannot do that. Yes, 100% I'm gonna commit the double shield here. Very easily. Very easily commit the shield. Took switch, boosted. If the Mantine comes back in, you better one shot this with Thunder Punch. Thank you. So here comes the Thunder Punch. They may shield and try and farm down, which they can get the farm down, but you can get the Mantine on. Sorry, the Magnemite on. Hope they don't have Water Pulse. Water Pulse will still hurt. If they have Water Pulse, they'll try to chip and dip here. So that still does a ton. There is your Ferrothorn. Banking a move in case you need it for later. Which the only problem is that allows them to get to closer to a Thunder here, but they they do throw a Thunder. I was about to say, I don't know, can they Bullet Seed down? I was trying to think if Thunder and Bullet Seed is the right move or just go double power up, but it looks like they probably can Bullet Seed down, which so it is the right move. You do have a move, so you gotta throw it blindly. Um, Magnum Bomb may be enough to take this out, because it, what are the attack and stats on this thing? Okay, Ferrothorn, are we gonna... Interesting. Huh. I'll talk about the stats in 235 after these battles. So again, we're staying in here because um, of what I thought last time, right? You don't wanna come in Lucario, get your Lucario punished, and then potentially have to have Magnemite on this. Uh, and they come out into Lantern. So we're going straight to Scissor just to chip. And then I'm guessing Lucario, okay. I'm surprised you didn't go Magnemite here because you take Resisted Sparks, do Neutral, and then you can align this on the Ferrothorn later. Um, and now you got to burn two shields. What are we doing here? Understand you're loaded and the Ferrothorn is not that you can just ramp up. So going to have a couple Thunder Punches here. This thing's probably gonna double shield. Cause you're, gonna, you're gonna get off three cause you do just farm down here and they don't know what's in the back yet. And they know you have a claw user. So it's not surprising that you grabbed um, two shields and then you CMP tie knowing that they're gonna throw the surf right away to try and get you out. So that back end was where, okay, so I guess this is gonna work out for you. Now we're gonna come Magnemite. One, two, three. Now try to catch a move and do make the catch. Gonna get the full Volt Switch down there. Eventually gonna come Ferrothorn, but this should be enough. Even I know it's resisted. I'll talk about the stat products in a second. Like I'm, I'm seeing these moves being done here and surprised actually how little they're doing. Glycopod against Polyrath. Okay, great lead. Ferrothorn, okay. This is as close to a top left as you can get so far. Just gonna take the thunder, probably could live it. And then you may be able to counter down before they get to a move. It'll be close. They may get to a power up. No, they just short. So throw that thunder punch blind. I don't care what comes in. You're throwing the thunder punch no matter what. 
So do get that off. Come back Glycopod, they didn't let the switch clock go down enough or you took it out too fast. There's only 10 seconds left, so I'm guessing the back line is hard counter two. They let it go. Oh boy, is it ever. Yeah, okay. Okay. Magnemite's attack is 148. Which puts it um, like extremely, extremely high in the attack category. I'm trying to find if I can find um, the, I'm going to organize by attack and go to Magnum. Ah, okay. Wait, stat product attack. Magnumite at 42, 43. So it's on par with your, um, I'm trying to give you examples of usable Pokemon in here, but none of these are usable. The closest thing is Salazzle at 55, if you use Slavil. Um and sneeze and surfetch that's 60 rank 60 because it has 145.9 attack so if you've used those pokemon you know how hard those moves hit i was actually kind of surprised i know those like magnet bombs were resisted i was actually kind of surprised how little they did on ferrothorn i thought some of those like yeah it's already in the yellow it should take it out even though it's resisted with such a high attack stat but it does not um and I guess it comes down to their, their decent damage per energy moves, but they're only 45 energy moves, so they're not super high damage overall. So Discharge, 45 energy, 78 damage, and Magnet Bomb, 45 energy for 84 damage. So 1.73 and 1.87 respectively. Um, so the 84 damage in itself is not... It's it hits hard, but it's not like the like a ninety to a hundred plus move here. Um, but with your tax that you think that you do a little more. Anyways, your defense and stamina is pathetic. One thirteen and eighty nine for fifteen hundred overall. So yeah, don't use this Pokemon definitely for fun. Um, if you want to use an electric in this meta, if you want to try this type of team, Magnezone or Togedimaru are your one and two that you should plug in as opposed to um, using Magnemite. But it was fun to fun to watch and fun to go over. And yeah, outside of a couple things, again, the biggest thing I would say is if you're truly using an ABB style team to draw out something and grab a shield, don't bait. Grab the friggin' shield. That's my, that's my main advice. Um, but yeah, otherwise, other than that, you you know how to do everything else because you're already a legend. So thanks for this mission. Thanks for watching a few more of these videos. And then um, we'll get back Great League Ultra Match League next week and the Catch Cup because there's only two weeks left. So this will be on. I don't know when I'm posting this. So this will be very out of date potentially by the time you listen to it. I went, I'm at 20. I'm filming this on League Turnover Day, Friday night. As of Friday, I'm at 2850 ELO, and that 300 plus ELO was all gained in Ultra League using a team of Pidgeot, Registeel, and Annihilate. And I went negative. I played every set every single day for th three straight days or four straight days, and I only lost three sets out of all of them that I played. Now, I didn't get a lot of four ones and five O's. Like there was a crap ton of three twos, but there were like I was as positive in almost like the majority of sets. So I'm up to twenty eight fifty had with three weeks left in the season. Um I said again, I don't know when I'm gonna post the video. I was gonna post I know when I'm posting the the team I'm gonna try next. Someone came in with a ABA Togujimaru Jellicent Fairthorn team that they said they ran to legend with and I got to use. 
So Saturday morning tomorrow is when I'm going to use that. Now, again, this may go up Monday. This may go up Tuesday because I'm trying to get ahead on videos because I'm off Wednesday through Sunday. So I've got to try and shoot like four videos a day to try and get me through till Sunday, um, which is why I'm filming like four days in advance. So if I have success with that team, I will hit legend with that team potentially if it like works for me. But know that the majority of the run was done in Ultra League. Um, but we'll cover that if I hit legend. Anyways, that's it. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one.